drive. Next level game in South Bend between Pittsburgh and the Fighting Irish. Everett Golson leading his team, but Pitt at a 10-6 lead. Tino Sinceri, who is it? Holtz! It's a Holtz! Bedeviling Notre Dame! J.P. Holtz! <laughs> Scoring for Pitt. Notre Dame people said Holtz has beat Notre Dame a lot of times. This was a great play by K1 Williams. He was called for pass interference, and it was a brutal call. Right. It was on fourth down. Pitt should have gotten the ball back. Notre Dame took advantage. TJ Jones. And a terrific job of execution there on the quick screen. TJ Jones takes it in for a score. That was a terrific call by head coach Brian Kelly. Down a 20 to 12 game. Williams, who had been called for interference, picks it off in the end zone, and it looks as if Pitt was going to get out of there, but. They couldn't capitalize on the turnover. Look at the great offensive line protection. Devaris Daniels, Golson, finds it! And now Notre Dame's on the doorstep, down eight and trying to save itself. And Golson, scrambling and finds Theodore Riddick. Well, this is his feet keep this play alive. Golson put Notre Dame on his back and carried that football team. But he still needs another play. They're still down two. 2-11 to go. Everett, looking, looking. Wants to throw. Now he doesn't want to throw anymore. Stretching and he's in there and we're tied at 20. Both teams would trade field goals in the first overtime. So we go to the second overtime. Here's the game winner. Uh, except it's not. Sierra Wood fumbled. Hit gets it. And now Kevin Harper. Terrific kicker for the Panthers. 33 yards to win it. Mm. The ghost of Rotney. Blew it just outside the upright. And now Golson goes back to work to Riddick. Uh, just a, a great protection there. The offensive line from Notre Dame was outstanding in their protection. And they did just enough to get Golson in. Manti Teo and the Irish remain undefeated, winning in triple OT. We did not play as well as we needed to. We had key turnovers. We didn't fit plays the way we fit. We didn't tackle as well. Uh, it was not our best effort. Now, having said that, uh, we played a team that played extremely well today, and we found a way to win. And uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. Will you be pulling for uh, USC, LSU, or Oklahoma State at all tonight? I mean, uh, maybe I should say the politically correct yes. You know, we really hope that – I don't really care about that. Stuff. And everybody says I should care. I care about my football team. I care about the, the getting better. Um, we're, we're, we're really just focused on ourselves. We can't worry about all those other things. That is the absolute perfect approach. It's exactly what all coaches do, and I know we on the outside can't understand it. That's because we on the outside are here to dissect things like that. Big picture. And big picture, Notre Dame, computers love them. They were tied for first in the BCS computers this week. They need help in the votes. They need to close some of the gap in the votes against Oregon, against Kansas State, particularly against Oregon. Triple overtime against Pitt's not going to do it. But the thing that will help them and will help them for the future, finding a way to win behind that young quarterback, Everett Golson, who was really the key to the game. And a lot of times to win championships, you have to win ugly. They won ugly today. Their backs were against the wall. They found a way to win. But Everett Golson carried this team on his back. He rushed for 74 yards in this game. The majority of it was in the second half. But the key was he kept plays alive in the pocket with his feet. He moved around in the pocket, kept plays alive, ran the ball when he had to, threw the ball down the field. A quarterback that does that, that can keep plays alive, you can always win with a young quarterback like that. And he did that today when they had to have it. Because there are situations in that game if he doesn't keep the play alive throw the ball run the ball Notre Dame's in big time trouble in this game because they were behind this game I thought Pitt played outstanding football but it also became obvious they just don't have the foot speed on defense they couldn't get pressure on goals and they couldn't keep him from running he made all the critical plays on that and if you win a championship you got to be lucky sometimes and Notre Dame was lucky today the missed field goal that young man's an outstanding kicker Mr. Harper but Notre Dame didn't block it or anything else he just happened to miss it and you got to be lucky give my credit to Notre Dame. They did a tremendous job, hung in there when everything looked bad. You know, I, I said in the highlight, and I meant it, by the way, that was a brutal pass interference call in that fourth down. However, however, good teams, when they get a break, as Notre Dame did, they take advantage of it. Teams that want to pull upsets bounce back from getting a call, a tough call, go against them. Pitt did not do that. Notre Dame gets another close win, and I've said this several times this year about the Irish. You keep winning these close games and everybody says, oh, they don't beat anybody badly. Sooner or later, it becomes a strength. 
and it was a strength today. They were down two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. You said it during the game. Pitt hopes to win. Notre Dame thinks they're going to. I tell you, this is the greatest thing that happened to Notre Dame because you say, no, they're a team of destiny. For a couple weeks, I've been saying they're a team of destiny. Just things are going to happen. Notre Dame believes that now. Now they go to BC, then they play Wake Forest, then they go to Southern Cal. They're 12-0. They have a legitimate chance for a championship. You say sooner or later it becomes a strength. Well, it's a strength for them now, but sooner or later it'll put them in a position where they'll lose a game because of playing close games. And they're going to face USC at the end of the season, even though USC right now is a team that's having their troubles. USC can throw the football on anyone. It has two of the best wide receivers in the nation. So that's a game I want to see if they want to play that one close. They, 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 Notre Dame will win that one.